A woman is carelessly walking in the street until she walks under a balcony where a kid throws what looks like a snake at her. Scared, she removes all her clothes in panic. A couple hears her scream and goes outside to check what's going on. They ask the woman, named Catherine, the reason for her being semi-naked in the street. Catherine explains to the man that his son played a prank on her and she got pretty scared. The woman tells her to just get dressed and go and do her duties in their house. Catherine nods and walks inside. The man's partner appears jealous about the whole thing. Later, Catherine walks to the boy's room to return his toy snake. The boy says that he's very glad to see her with a big smile on his face. Catherine says that what he did wasn't right because she nearly got sacked. The boy says that he only wanted his dad, so realize how noble her heart is. Katha says that she's sorry, but what he did wasn't really helpful, and that she would be glad if he didn't do it again. The boy nods, and Catherine hands the toy back to the boy. Later, Kath is working in the kitchen. The boy carefully approaches her from behind with a pair of scissors and cuts the back of her skirt in half to reveal her underwear. Catherine feels something odd but decides to carry on with her chores. Meanwhile, the dad is looking at clothes with his partner when he suddenly receives a message from his son. His partner checks his phone and finds the pictures. She confronts him about it. The man says that he doesn't know, especially because it was sent by his own son. The woman says that she's going to see what's going on. Her partner follows right behind. The woman walks to the kitchen to check what's going on. There, she sees Katha with her bum exposed. She confronts her, mentioning her indecent behavior. Catherine doesn't seem to understand what she's talking about. The woman tells her to have a look at her skirt. Confused, she checks it and doesn't find anything wrong with it. The man tells her to look at the back. She takes a look and realizes that it got ripped. Embarrassed, she apologizes and says that she didn't know it happened and that it was an accident. The boy walks downstairs. His father's partner asks why he sent those pictures to his father. The father, fuming, tells the boy to go immediately to his room because he wants to talk to him. The boy obeys his father's orders and goes upstairs. The woman tells Catherine that she's going to bring her another uniform because she can't accept that she's wearing those kinds of clothes in their house. Catherine explains to the father that she's really sorry and that she had no idea that her uniform was ripped. The man says that it's not a problem and that as soon as she changes it, it will be fine. Later, Catherine goes to the boy's room. The boy, playing with his plushes, apologizes for what he did and says that his father already scolded him for it. The woman says that she doesn't understand why he did it. The boy says that he misses his mother heaps and that he wishes that his father gets rid of the snake he's engaged to. Catherine asks why he's calling her a snake. The boy says that he saw what she did to his mother. The boy explains that Marcella used to be their housekeeper. One day, his mother kissed him and told him to behave because she was leaving. She kissed his cheeks for the last time and said goodbye. He then heard Marcella calling something and telling the person that she had a mission for him. A biker waited outside. His dad wished his mother farewell and said she would be waiting for him. The father said he was going to meet her as soon as possible in the office. Marcella then wished her a good one and the mother went outside. The boy then rushed to the door to ask Marcella about his mother. Marcella then said that he was going to hear about her very soon. Outside, as the boy's mother was trying to cross the road, the biker came at full speed and crashed on her. Later that day, after going to his mother's funeral, the boy told his father that he was going to miss his mother forever. The father told him to go upstairs and rest a bit. Marcella approached the father and offered him her condolences. The father thanked her and went to his room. Upset and not being able to sleep, the father decided to get hammered to hide the pain. Taking advantage of his misfortune, the horrible woman decided to go downstairs, wearing little to no clothes, to seduce him. She sat next to him and said that time would heal it and that she was there to lend him a shoulder and also look after him. She encouraged him to get very drunk so she could take advantage of him. 
After getting the man extremely drunk, she took him to bed and abused him. After regaining his consciousness, he woke up, very scared and couldn't believe what just happened. The woman accused him of taking her to bed. The man couldn't believe it when she said she took advantage of his situation. He then told her to leave. Marcella once more showed her evil grim. One day, as the man was about to sack her, Marcella revealed to him that she was pregnant and that she had proof. The boy watched the whole thing. The boy said it was possible. His father, after hearing about the pregnancy situation, felt compelled to help her. He said that perhaps it was just destiny and that maybe she could be Martin's mother. Marcella said that she was very happy to hear it. The man kissed her forehead and left. As he left, Marcella said that the man was really stupid to believe her and that getting rid of his stupid wife was simpler than she thought. She then said that all that was left to do was find someone to impregnate her. Shocked, the boy went to his bedroom and prayed to his deceased mother, asking for her maternal guidance. The boy's faith then made him visualize his late mother, who said she would send him an angel to look after him just like she used to. The ghost of his mother then told him to grab the toy snake she gave him when he was young and told him to throw it down the balcony. That was the moment when the toy scared the life out of Catherine, his guardian angel. The boy explains that cutting Catherine's skirt was also his mother's guidance. After hearing the boy's story, Catherine said she found it hard to understand. The boy says that he's telling the truth. Catherine says that maybe she believes him, but if what he said is really true, he needs to be really careful with his stepmother. The boy nodded at her. Catherine says that in that case, she's going to help him out. Minutes later, Catherine approaches the evil woman, accompanied by the boy, and tells her that she's going out shopping with him. They walk to the door and open it to pretend that they left, and then take the opportunity to follow the woman. Minutes later, the woman greets a worker and explains to him that she's the owner of the luxurious house and that she has an important request for him. She says that she's going to give him some money if he accepts to impregnate her. The worker said that it's fine with him, but it might not be a success in their first attempt. The woman says that she always gets what she wants. Catherine records everything the woman says with her mobile phone. She says that she used to be the housekeeper, but then luck turned her way, and now she owns it by rights. She says that if it doesn't work on their first attempt, they can retry it many times. She then invites the worker in. Catherine, after recording the footage, decides to call Martin's father to tell him about it. Later that day, the man goes to his house after receiving a call from Catherine. He goes to his bedroom, and there he sees the evil woman having an affair with the worker. The evil woman, trying to get away, said that the man invaded the house and tried to sexually abuse her. Martin and Catherine then go inside. Catherine shows the man the footage of Marcella admitting her evil plans. Desperate, the evil woman starts to cry and claims that she can explain everything. Fuming, Martin's father tells the worker to leave his house. The lover gets up and walks away. After getting rid of the young man, the father tells Catherine to call the police to deal with the criminal. 
Marcella sheds her crocodile tears and begs for forgiveness. Martin tells the woman to shut her stinking mouth. Later, the police arrive and take the criminal arrested for the crime she admitted in the video footage. After the police arrest her, the father tells his son that he can trust him and tell him everything he feels. He says that the evil woman might have murdered his mother, but he will always be there for him for whatever he needs. He hugs his son and Catherine. The boy says that Catherine is a noble-hearted woman. He says that he's sure he's going to find a good woman in the future. Martin then visualizes his mother once more, and she tells him she will always be the one for his father.